Tony, I'm going to be straightforward with you. I don't think you're the right fit for this job. I mean, this is the third time we've had a problem like this. We think you're not taking this job seriously. Hey, I'm taking this job very seriously. If I see a dangerous group of hoodlums, I can reprimand them. They were children, little kids, and you had them terrified, and their father. Hey, a 40-year-old man shouldn't cry that easily. This isn't the army. You can't treat customers like cadets. This is an amusement park, a place of joy and magic. We can't have little children running around terrified. Unless maybe they're on the haunted house ride, but even then, there's limits. You know what? You're fired. I know I was responsible for that deal. Yes, but sir, that wasn't my fault. It was those idiots down in the legal department. No, I didn't mean your son, of course not. He's great. I mean, imagine what he can do when he graduates high school. Trust me, I am doing everything that I can. Tonight? Well, I don't know. I don't, I can't fly cross country on a moment's notice. I have the kids here, and we're supposed to do a girls weekend. I'd have to find a sitter. First class, you say? No, I, um, uh-huh. Okay, fine. I will see you there tonight. <laughs> mm -mm. Not on the floors. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Okay, when I get home, I'm looking for two minutes of peace before the headache starts. I have to practice as much as I can. The basketball tryout is next week. And guess who's gonna be the only girl on the team? Is it you? It's me. Those stupid boys won't know what hit them. Oh, which reminds me. I hit a stupid boy today and got detention. Again? Izzy, you can't keep doing this. Why can't you be like the other girls and just gossip about the boys you like rather than fight them? Gross! I don't like him. That's stupid. So stupid. Okay, well, um, you're grounded. <laughs> no TV, no phone, and definitely no basketball until you write that poor boy an apology. But! <laughs> no! You're 12 years old now, Izzy. You better start acting like it. Ugh! I hate you! I wish I was never born! Hi, Lynn. Just dropping off Lou. We had fun making cookies after school. She may have gotten into the bowl when my back was turned. I love cookies. Ah! Uh, perfect timing, Irene. Um, I have to go on a business trip tonight. Do you think you could watch the girls for a couple of days? Oh, I would, but I can't, I'm afraid. You see, this week is the best time of the season for the annual bird migration. And this year's gonna be the one that I finally catch a bald eagle. I can feel it. You mean on camera, right? Of course. That's why we make cookies to celebrate. See? Tweet, tweet. <laughs> yeah, um, are you absolutely sure? Please, I don't have anybody else. I'm sorry, Lynn, but I'm sure you'll be able to find somebody. Actually, what about your charming father? I'm sure that sweet, handsome darling of an old man would be happy to come for a visit. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, fat chance. He's always busy anyways. I'm sure he has time now since he lost his job. He got fired? That's what I heard. Pam from Bridge Club heard from Jan, who told Stan, so of course Dan found out, which led to Anne, Fran, and me. You know how word travels. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks. I'll find somebody else. Hey, no more! <sighs> Hi, Dad. It's Lynn. I have a bit of an emergency. I had too many cookies. How does this sound? Dear Brian, I'm sorry I punched you in your stupid face and gave you a black eye. Although I must say, 
It does look good on you, stupid. Are you sure you don't like him? Why does everyone keep on saying that? Mom, where are you going? Mommy has to go to a very important meeting for work. But don't worry, someone special is coming to visit. Is it Santa? Mm, no, not quite as special. Is it Rudolph? Who is it? I came as fast as I can. Where's Lou? You're not Santa. And you're not stuck on the roof. Hi, Dad. Come on in. Hi, Lynn. Your front step is loose. You should get a fix. It's your real safety hazard get in here. Nice to see you, too. Girls, this is your Grandpa Tony. He's come for a visit. Well, I should get going. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks so much for coming over on such short notice. Where are you going? Don't worry, I really won't be gone for long. Just till Monday. Or Tuesday. <laughs> I don't understand. I thought there was an emergency. Yeah, there is. My daughters haven't seen their grandfather for most of their lives, and now they need a babysitter. I got plans. I got things to do. I just can't... Really? Because I heard you were fired. Look, I don't like this any more than you do, but I need your help. Just make sure they do the scroll work, don't give them any sweets, and everything will be fine. <laughs> Luden got stuck on the roof. Oh, no, not for weeks. <laughs> Bye, girls. So you two do your homework. And don't eat sweets, okay? I had 14 cookies today. We're off to a good start then. <laughs>